Hey guys, welcome back to Secret on 5. So last episode we rescued Marina from a bunch of gangs who tried to injure Belkut so that he couldn't compete anymore. What a lowly scumbag, low life scumbag. And anyway, now is the final day for the Sacred Games. Which means the war is about to happen. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I guess we'll have to go our separate ways here. Okay, go get him, Tiger. We're not supposed to favor any particular com competitor, so we can't root for you out there, sorry. That's okay, just knowing you're thinking of me means everything. That Kildred guy seems to seems pretty scary if you ask me. Not really, he's just a bitch. Please be careful. <laughs> Looks like we'll soon be brothers. Yeah. Ah. I never even thought about it before. But you're right. If I win, we'll be brothers. <laughs> it would be a great honor. Now I have even more reason for more reason to win. Well, I better be going. Guy is so awesome, man. He's so cool. It's really nice too. Too bad. It's just not the way. <laughs> Unfortunately. Alright, let's go and watch the final match. Now that you already hear me gro uh, groaning about the final match, it's gonna be like, you probably know who's gonna win. But you you won't... Uh, but I'm not gonna tell you how he lose. <laughs> it's just pissing me off actually. It pisses me off even more than anything. Mother, bro father, I brought brother. <laughs> oh, here I guess. And his opponent, the Conacon swordsman Belkut. Yep. Something's wrong. <laughs> Everything is wrong about this. What's the matter with him? Maybe he doesn't feel well. He seemed fine a little while ago. He's made it to the arena, so he must be well enough to fight. Let's see what happens. Commence! Damn! He can barely defend himself! He's nothing like he was yesterday. What's the meaning of this? Uh. Belkut! Stop! Fuck you, Kildrick. I'm gonna kill you. Yep. The Godwin wins. Uh, yep. I hate it. I hate it. What happened, man? I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> but it definitely tells a good story. Definitely. It tells the, the best story. Well, second best story after Secret and 2, of course. <laughs> Belku, take him to the infirmary. Is, is, there, is the doctor standing by? Yes, your majesty. Prince. Right. Frey. Let's go take a look at him. Ah, oh, man. I was looking forward to have him as my brother. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it. Wait, why is the queen doesn't share the room with the uh, with ferret though? It's a queen's knight, queen's room. Let's check out the queen's room. That doesn't look like a room to me, in my opinion. Okay, now queen's knights, they have four bedroom. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go. He is at the infirmary, so it should be right here. It's right next to the uh, jail. <laughs> Belkut! Is he alright? No. I said, how is he? Is he going to be alright? 
please, calm down. Have you no manners? You shouldn't be shouting at an injured man's bedside. Uh, right. Sorry. His injuries look worse than they are. It seems they're all superficial, nothing life-threatening. Uh, I see. Thank goodness. But it looks like he was put to sleep with magic or a drug. What? what? Is that why he was so unsteady? But it couldn't have been magic. True. The rune keepers keep a close watch. So if magic was used, they'd know right away. So the only possibility left is a drug. But I don't see any evidence of that either. What do you mean? Aren't doctors supposed to be able to spot something like that? I'm just as confused as you are. He doesn't show any of the typical signs of being drugged to sleep at all. Even if it was a drug, who gave it to him? And when? Belkut was with us all morning. It couldn't be. Let go of me! Let me through! Wait! Hold on, you! Belkut! No! Relax, he's, he's not dead. <laughs> You're not allowed in here. Guards, stand down. Oh, yeah, yes, your highness. Pardon me. <laughs> oh, oh. Belkut. Oh, Belkut. No. Calm down, Marina. His injuries aren't as bad as they look. He'll be fine. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. They told me he'd be asleep before the match even started. Marina, you didn't. The soup you gave him this for breakfast. Yeah. Impossible. Such a drug couldn't possibly exist. No, I know of one. It's completely order odorless and tasteless, so nobody could even detect it. Wow, really? And once you've taken it, you'll just look like you're sleeping normally, even to the most strained eye. So it's a. Uh, it, so does this drug helps with insomnia or something? Because <laughs> definitely helps. <laughs> Leon, how do you? But that drug should no longer exist, as far as I know. Yep, this game is all about drugs, man. Not about runes. It's all about drugs. <laughs> and did Marina really? But why, Marina? Why would you do such a thing? When I thought of Belkut winning and marrying the princess. When I thought about him being out of my reach forever and ever. Not really. I mean, the princess is only 12. <laughs> I... I... That's why I... Is that what they told you to say? What? Those thugs from yesterday. They told you to say that, didn't they? Are they the ones that gave you that drug too? Only the nobility could get their hands on a drug like that. Probably gazelle, yep. Maybe the guys from yesterday are working for a noble. No, you got it all wrong. I did it on my own, honest. Please believe me, if you don't, the proprietor and the proprietress will be... Uh... Aha, now I'm starting to get the picture here. He's sobbing. Marina. I don't, lo I don't like this one bit. Everything and everyone is starting to look shady to me. It's been like this since the fucking beginning of the game, man. Hang on. I'm going to talk to Zay guy. I'm just lowering down the fan volume that way. I don't hear any static noises. Alright, now we gotta go to the basement. Sil uh, to Silates when she talks to Zay guy. Oh, Prince, wait! You're going to see you're going to go see the guy too, right? I'll go with you. Can I just be alone for a while, Leon? <laughs> I mean I get it, you're my bodyguard, but still I, I like to be alone, you know. Ah <laughs> oh, god. He's just she she's just like Gremio. <laughs> ah, your highness the prince, I have a message for you from the commander of the Queen's Knights. From his majesty Ferret. Yes, Lady Leon. The blessing of the victor and the closing ceremony are about to begin, so, but don't worry, we'll cover for you, so do whatever you believe is most important right now. That is the complete message from His Majesty, Your Highness. Wow, thank you. Nothing gets by Farad, does it? 
Very smart leader, man. Oh, you guys came too. Heh, <laughs> title of your sex tape. <laughs> so, Zegai, what's the deal? You didn't have anything to do with those armed spy, did you? No. What? They started speaking to me, I could not tell you why. What they say was of no interest to me, but they gave me a no opportunity to excuse myself. That's what I thought. Why didn't you say so before? It doesn't matter. I was born in arms. To most peop to most of these people, that makes me a spy. I was a baby, too young to even walk. When I left that country, my only homeland is the battlefield. I see. I think those armed spy were being used too. They had information passed off to them on them. Like how Zegai was born in arms and, or how to get to the underground passage that leads to the arena basement. To get Zegai falsely accused and disqualified from the sacred games? Not exactly. Think about it. How could anyone have predicted what those arms guys would do? And it was mere chance Shun heard those voices. This was just half-baked plot with no real outcome plan. I bet Zegai getting disqualified was just a matter of chance. Just a matter of chance? That's horrible. Everything in this game is horrible. <laughs> it's that bastard. He lays schemes, then just sits sits back and watches how they unfold. Yeah. He gets kicked out of uh, watching people get caught up in his plots. Just look at what he did to Belkut. There must have been... There must have been an easier way, but he had to go and get poor Marina's hands dirty too. I bet he thought it'd be more interesting that way. That's awful. Gazelle loves schemes, the way Kyle loves women. <laughs> He'll try anything as long as, I, as he thinks it'll be amusing. Yeah, I, I bet Kyle loves. Kyle thinks women are amusing. <laughs> And he almost always gets what he wants in the end. Victory in the sacred games? I told you before, didn't I? That's the kind of guy he is. Or rather, I should say, that's the kind of guy he's become. In fact, this is exactly what I expect from him. Gazelle, damn you. Damn you to hell! <sighs> we should let mo mom know. Yeah, that way she can burn the shit out of this place. <laughs> That's right. She be she will she will turn to queen of the ashes. You know, <laughs> let's hurry up and tell her Majesty, or else the princess will have to marry that man. And Zagai is going to be executed, and he didn't even do anything. I know it sucks, man. If that is my fate, then so be it. <laughs> no, I would never let that happen. In any case, we have to inform Arstad. Come on. Tell mom what happened here and she will turn this place into ashes. <laughs> I'll have the Godwin's head on a spike. <laughs> Don't worry about Marina and Velcro. I'll go I'll check in on them. Thank you. Alright, let's go to mommy and daddy's room. Let's hope they're not doing anything. Vulgar. <laughs> like this, the whole country is more like they prefer tradition over something new, you know? Like the whole Queen's uh, Sacred Games or whatever. They could have changed that into like some competition that will give the winners money or something like that or fame. But instead, nope, you get to marry the princess. Why? The princess doesn't even want to marry the per the person who wins it. Like seriously, it's so fucking backwards. So tradition, I guess. Welcome back. So, how is Belko? He's not cadaverific. <laughs> This looks like it's going to be a long story. Okay, bring me tea. <laughs> Thank you for telling us. But everything you've said is just conjecture, is it not? But... 
We understand. Your guesses are probably correct. Thank you for finding out so much in such a short amount of time, but there's still no proof of who is behind all of this. Isn't that right? <laughs> That's true, but... But even if it is the truth, we can't take action based on conjecture. Arstad? I... I am not a god. I might be able to make accusations, but without proof there's no chance for justice. If I could punish certain senators, I would have done it long ago. Arshtat. <laughs> uh oh. The Queen of Ashes is returned. <laughs> Fitting a god. Yeah, it's your rune. Your Majesty. <laughs> to begin with, I must bring down judgment upon Lord Godwin for making a mockery of me and my beloved children. I'll do to Stormfist what I did to Lord Lake. <laughs> Mom. It's all right, my dear. Sorry about this. The Mad Queen has spoken. This further with Farid. All of you are excused. Be very careful not to tell anyone about this. And please be especially careful Lim doesn't hear about it. She's still too young to know about such sordid things. In any case, I'll definitely take care of that business about Sagai. We certainly can't take the life of an innocent man. No, we can't. Yes. Thank you, Farad. He's too important for us. <laughs> Your Majesty, about that dark arcanum. Yes, I know. I'll see what I can do. Yes, thank you, Your Majesty. Dark Arcanum, that's a nice name for a drug. <laughs> no, it says that's actually the name of a drug. Ah, morning. Friends. Oh, you're already awake. Good morning, Your Highness. Looks like you didn't sleep very well, huh? Yeah. That asshole's gonna be my brother-in-law. <laughs> you didn't either? No, there were too many things to think about. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't be brooding like this so early in the morning. Her, ma Her Majesty and the Princess are awake, too. Let's go. <sighs> Terrible. Let me go and save first. All right. Hey, Lim. Frey, I'm glad you came. <laughs> There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Tell me, why is it mom and dad and you have all been acting so strange since last night? You're hiding something from me, aren't you? No, you're fine. Sorry, Lim, but we can't tell you. So you admit it's true. You are keeping secret from me. But you, you tell me if it was something I had to know, right? I guess there are things that go on that aren't my business. And maybe some things that I'm not ready to know. Just promise me one thing. Act like a normal person when you're around me. She's smart man. Even though she's really young, she's really she's definitely ra was raised properly. <laughs> well, no, obviously. She's a fucking princess. A soon to be a queen. So yeah. Prince, you care about the princess future, don't you? Yeah, obviously. Yes, of course you do. <laughs> That's a reassuring. You're a weird girl, aren't you, Miyakis? But you're so hot. 
<laughs> Alright, mom. Frey, I see that you're awake. About last night's discussion, well, I'll consider our options, but not until we're safely back in Sofalina. It would be unwise to try to come to a proper decision here in the heart of Godwin's town. Fortunately, Gazelle must come to Solfalina for the engagement ceremony half a month late from now. Wow. Then... Yeah, and then your daughter will become a qu fucking... <laughs> queen. Ah, you're awake. Hmm. Didn't sleep very well. I see. Well, it's certainly not surprising. We're going to back. To, we're going back to Solfalina today, but we're not in any particular hurry. It seems all of you met a lot of people here and learned quite a bit. I'm sure there are people you like to see again before we leave Stormfist. Why don't you go and say goodbye to them now? Just come back when you're done. Uh, yep. Did we say goodbye to Shin? I don't remember. Again, I play this every year, but then I didn't play it last year, so I kinda got iffy memories. <laughs> Let me see if I can say goodbye to Shun. Cause I think I can. I don't know if Shun will be there. Good morning to you, your highness. Oh yes, the warrior I care for, yes, for yesterday finally awoke this morning. His injuries were serious, so that lady took him back to the inn. A quite kind and honorable man, that one. He insists he wasn't drugged, all for that lady's sake. After all, if word got out that she had drugged him, she'd be arrested and everyone in Felena would hate her. Of course, the man would, won't let me state my official opinion that he was drugged, either. Even if I didn't point a finger at Marina, she's the one who had the most obvious means and motive to drug him. But the drug left no evidence anyway, so the point is moot. Only a fool would dare to imply that Gazelle won the match unfairly, with that solid proof to back that claim up. So it's best for anyone, so for, it's best for everyone to, that we keep quiet about it. Everyone but that warrior, that is. God, you gotta give it to him, man. He doesn't even want to reveal to the entire world that I, I got fucking drugged. <laughs> oh, Prince, please wait. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew I could say goodbye. Prince, I heard a rumor that the guy's charges are, f are false. Is that true? Yes, I thought so. Damn it. This is all my fault. I got all overexcited and now the guy is. Calm down, Shion. His Majesty Farad will see to it that the guy's execution gets called off. Really? That's great. I'm honored to have made your acquaintance, Prince. I'll never forget you. And then the next day, who's the Prince again? <laughs> Alright, now let's go to Belkud and Marina's place. So you know what, I'll just see, that. see you guys then. Alright, here we are at the end. Where, where are they? Your Highness, you mean you came all the way over here to say goodbye? Oh, you honor us. Since you're here, you think you can, you could talk to Marina and Belkut too? They both seem pretty sad about Belkut's loss, even though Marina didn't want him to marry the princess. Well, all that matters now is that they're safe, right Prince? Yeah, sure. Safe? That's, that's not uh, even a safe bet yet. <laughs> Oh, your highness, I didn't realize you were here. I heard that you were turning to the imperial capital today. Thank you for all your help at a time like this. How are your injuries? Oh, nothing serious, your highness. I'm sure I don't need to stay in bed any longer, but... Oh, yes you do. Even Dr. Murat said that you needed two or three days of rest. Well, you see how it is. <laughs> You aren't finding it hard to con concentrate on or anything like that? That drug can sometimes cause side effects like that or for some time afterwards. <laughs> like what? Mood swings? Sleepless nights? <laughs> Can't get it up? <laughs> Leon, I haven't taken any drugs. Huh? I only fell asleep during my match because I hadn't 
gotten gotten enough sleep beforehand. That's all. Belku, your highness, I'm so sorry. I know that if I keep quiet about this, the fixed result of the sacred games will stand. But we're up against something too big and cunning. And even if, if he, even if I did speak out, no doubt Marina would be will be the only one punished. Yeah, and that that's why. I swear, man, I I just can't hate this guy. Belcourt is so fucking good, man. To the point, he got me teared up. How awesome he is! <laughs> God, Belcourt, you're such a nice guy, man. He's a real me. He's a real deal. I love you, man. Belkut. Come on, Marina. Don't look like that. It wasn't your fault. You did nothing wrong. You did everything correct. <laughs> you, me, all of us, we were all just puppets at the end of their strings. Like, I feel really bad though, because Belkut is really. is like the. that. like main hero, main character, hero, whatever, the one who saved the princess, whatever. But he's fighting something bigger, you know, like, as in political power bigger because he can't he's just a uh, commoners he can't fight no nobles high power by himself so yeah it's really sad I'm sad because it's Belkut Belkut is awesome I I know I thought I knew what I, what it meant to tangle with the Felena noble ability but I underestimated them yeah you didn't think they would use drugs ah, I get it <laughs> To be honest, I never dreamed that I'd they go this far. And I'm sure that even if I had won, they would have had some backup plan already. Like what what is the what would be the backup plan for really? Like if Belkut wins, they, are they gonna kill him? And then they were like and then the decision be like Okay, the runner up wins then. That doesn't make any sense. That's bullshit. Unless they make another sacred games or something. And then they cheated on that one too. <laughs> Your Highness, before long, that man will enter the royal family. I'm sure you don't need to tell me this. You don't mean you don't need me to tell you this, but he's dangerous. Be careful out there. Thank you. Danka. I'm gonna miss you guys. I love you guys. Marina, you too. Remember the first the first remember the first reason I gave you yesterday? For putting that stuff in Belkut's food, that wasn't entirely a lie. I really de uh, did feel that way a little. That's why I can't forgive myself for what happened. I get it. You were in law. It's okay. Ah, oh, man, Belkut. The characters that you recruited in this game are all lovable. I don't think I can. Well, except this fucker. <laughs> yes, you get to recruit him later. I think I mentioned it before, and I, I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, him. I think there's few more that's not likable. I guess. Yeah, there's few more, but there are some really good ones. That there are more good ones that you recruited that are lo lovable. You know. Anyway, let's go back and talk to mom. Mom and dad. Mom and dad don't look so hard these days. They go head over the hills. <laughs> uh, that's the Green Day song. Finished already? Yes, sir. I see. In that case, we should start thinking about leave leaving right now. Mom and dad don't look so hard this day to go head over the hills. <laughs> I think it's I think the sing the song is called Brat <laughs> by Green Day. Lord Godwin, Gazelle, thank you for your hospitality. Our pleasures. We have been most honored by your visit. I trust you enjoy our, your stay here. Yes, we had a marvelous time. With the sacred games went exceptionally well. Was that? I don't know. Princess, I look forward to our engagement ceremony. I shall come bearing many gifts just for you. You're weird though, aren't you? <laughs> I see. I'll be looking forward to it too. 
and i'm looking forward to the day i officially become your fiance god damn dude ease up a, a, a little you're talking to a 12 year old here <laughs> prince frey i've been deeply impressed by your chivalry and his resourcefulness <laughs> I plan to reply myself, really apply myself, so that people won't criticize me as the foolish little brother. Even though you're older than me, <laughs> of a great bro, of a great big brother. You're too kind. I have a feeling we're going to be the the best of brothers. Yes, we're gonna be like the step brothers. <laughs> you wanna do karate in the garage? Yes. Did we just become best friend? <laughs> now then, your majesty, have a safe journey home. Just a moment please, there's someone who isn't with us yet. Oh, Arstad, there he is. Oh man. Why would you want to take a man like that with you? We were planning to execute him any day now. And that's why we're taking him with us. With us, this man is a felon who plotted hit with armed spies to mur murder his Her Majesty. The Queen's knights will take custody of him and investigate his relationship with arms closely. Is this acceptable to you? As you wish. Now then, Gazelle, we look forward to seeing you again at the engagement ceremony. It will be my honor. <sighs> I hate you. I hate you so much. I hope you die. <laughs> now what do you think, father? All we have to do is wait for our opportunity and seize it. You did well. But you know, Gazelle. People do change. Huh? The Prince. His entire countenance seems to have changed because of this incident. Your schemes might work in the short term, my son. But you may well be planting the seeds for future problems. Well, possibly. I'll take your warnings into consideration. <laughs> so he's gonna be like, we planted a seed. To ever growing one to a beautiful tree. <laughs> and we're back home. Looks like we have no other choice, do we? When we decided to hold the sacred games, we were both well aware Godwin could emerge victorious. It's not like you to hesitate now. But Arstadt, we're not just talking about any little girl here. We're talking about Lynn. Anybody would hesitate. I can't bear to see anything bad happen to her, but there isn't much we can do now. Trust me, if there were some other solution, I'd gladly step down from the throne and rid myself of the sun rune. But now that it's come to this, we must stand strong, no matter what the cost. Yes, I know. Rather than hesitating, we should be doing everything we can to make sure that cost is as small as possible. Yes, but we must never be suspected. To the very end, we'll just have to pretend nothing's going on. <laughs> Her Majesty is waiting. Should we, go should we get going? Frey, already? Oh, Princess, good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. <laughs> Good morning, Lim. Good morning, Frey. Good morning, Leon. Oh, hi, you. <laughs> Princess, you can't just intrude on a gentleman's bedroom like that. It's disgraceful. What? She's my sister. <laughs> it's not as. It's not disgraceful. You just make it sound bad, talking like it's such a big deal. <laughs> Besides, what about Leon? She was here before I even got here. <laughs> well, Leon and her prince are like brother and sister. That still doesn't make any sense, Miyakis. But Frey and I really are. 
brother and sister though. No. Oh, that's right. Miyakis, you're not very bright, but you're still hot. I love you. <laughs> Why you? <laughs> um, maybe we shouldn't keep Her Majesty waiting too long. Oh, you're right. Ray, let's go see mom. Hey, come on. Hurry up. God damn, calm down. Mother, father, I brought brother. <laughs> I still can't. I still can't get over the, that fucking cringe dialogue, man. Anyway, I'm gonna end the part here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Stay tuned and stay safe. Later!